Today's shooting, like every shooting that makes the news, produced fevered calls for new restrictions on gun ownership and gun rights. Jamani Williams is a member of the New York City Council. After today's shooting, he put out a statement calling for, quote, common sense gun legislation that addresses the supply and demand for guns. He also demanded new laws, quote, combating the leadership of the NRA as they try to deceive people into thinking they're simply working to protect Second Amendment rights. Councilman Williams joins us tonight. Um, Councilman, I guess the obvious question is, what gun law would have prevented the shooting today? I think it's a combination of things. First, my prayers for uh, Representative Scalise and his family. I know Amen. it's in critical uh, condition. I think it's a, a, a confluence of things that we need uh, in preventing this type of supply. That's the supply side. These supply of guns are going into these communities. We have to prevent it. This man uh, apparently had a criminal history. Why did, he have hist uh, why did he have access to these guns so readily? We also need to prevent gun laws like the ones that NRA. May I answer? I know the sure. answer to this. So um, he bought his gun legally. He had a background, federal background check. Sure. Um, he was not convicted of any crime, and so of course you can't punish people without convicting them under our system. Sure. And he lived in a rural area, so it's not like guns were flooding into his community. He went and bought it at a gun shop, um, as he's allowed to do. So again. Since you used this shooting as a way to promote your political views on gun control, sure. what gun law would have prevented this shooting? So my answer to that question is one, as I said, there's a supply and a demand. The supply side uh, is all of the illegal guns that we talk about were legal at some point. So there's too many points of purchase and too much ability to get unfettered access to guns. My, my, I believe in understanding he had two guns. I don't know necessarily that you need two, three, and four guns. There are people okay, who but the, repeat. But, uh, but he, had, you know, he had a rifle, and he shot a lot of people with a rifle, five, sure. five people with this rifle. He got it legally again. So I guess the point I'm making is there are hundreds of millions of firearms in the United States. The Second Amendment guarantees the right, as translated by the Supreme Court, for people to buy them. Um, how do you stop gun crime or shootings like this short of confiscating every gun, which obviously no, is not going to No, no, you don't have to confiscate so every gun. So how would you have prevented this crime? Uh, I but mean, there are laws that could be put in place uh, that minimize the access to guns, minimize the access uh, to semi-automatic weapons that people won't even entertain. Uh, there is research that can be done with the CDC to see what those laws are. But the Republicans in the NRA block that. Okay, kind of but I don't know even. why you're waiting for the NRA to do your work for you or the CDC. Now you're an elected official, and you're using a tragedy. You're leveraging a tragedy. No. In order, of course you are. You're sending so, out a press release in the middle. You know, people so, are still being carted to the hospital, saying we could have prevented this. So, so I'm no, asking you're, you the you're, obvious you're, question, you're, which is you're how. You're speaking to a council member who's a proud member of the city council, uh, who's had a voice in helping New York City be one of the safest cities in the country. So there should be people listening to what's happening. Well, congratulations. In the city. But we're yeah. talking on a day about a mass shooting that took place in Alexandria sure. at 7 a.m. this morning, and you used that occasion to send out this press release no, for, we're, the, we're, for the fourth time. What law would have prevented we're this? We're talking about the 159 other mass shootings that have happened uh, in so this country. So you'll concede nothing you're proposing would have stopped this No, one? no, I'm saying we're talking about the 27,000 Americans that have died since, uh, since the beginning of this year alone. And I'm saying the gun violence is occurring because there's a supply and what I'm saying